height. And joining me now is Rob Dew. We're going to be going to live coverage of the CNN GOP debate as soon as that begins. But before we did, we just wanted to touch base with you, let you know that if you want to send in questions and comments to Twitter, we have a special hashtag, hashtag MoneyBomb2015. Joe Biggs is standing by there to deal with your Twitter comments. Uh, we also have a number that you can call in to help to support our operation. Of course, the reason we're doing this money bomb is because we are trying to expand our operation, trying to expand our outreach with the nightly news, with the radio show, to reach a much larger audience. We're trying to reach 400 million people. We need a million dollars to begin doing that because this is something that we need to. Uh, there's there's monthly expenses that are part of the budget. There's an initial startup cost that is very big with us. So we're asking for your support as you've stood by us through the years past. If you want to join us in this effort, that number is 888-253-3139. Again, 888-253-3139. And Dave, Rob Dew is with us now, and he's been taking calls uh, this taking afternoon. Calls. Yeah. It is amazing the amount of support uh, we're getting. People recognize my name. I don't even say, I say hey, this is Rob. <laughs> this is Rob Dew. A lot of fans out there really appreciate everybody calling in. Uh, people are even giving me tips for stories. Where can I send a story? I'm like, sure, you know, I'll take that. But you, you know, we really appreciate the people calling in, yeah. uh, buying products, giving donations. We got a lot of deals out there now. Uh, the the X2 is 30 percent off. Uh, Super Mail is 20 percent off. We have all these great deals. Go to the website infowarsstore.com. You can place your order there, or if you want to call in 888-253-3139, you can place a donation and order products or just play, make a donation or just order products. And yeah. uh, we got some great deals coming up all throughout the night. And right now we do have free shipping, which is great. Uh, some people have ordered and then I've gotten a few people that have called back and said, I forgot to add, add some things. Can I just put it on the other order? So don't worry about it. It's free shipping. Let's just make another order and, and That's get great. it going. That's very so. important. Free shipping for the entire 28 hours of the money bomb. And of course, we've got many products that we have uh, sale prices on in addition to the free shipping. We've got 20% off of Survival Shield X2, our nascent iodine. 20% off of Super Male Vitality and Brain Force and Silver Bullet. All of those products, 20% off. 15% off of Deep Cleanse, Secret 12, Oxy Powder. And again, with all of those, you get free shipping. So all of that helps to support our operation. That's how we normally fund our operation. We're trying to do a bit extra this time. That's why we're doing a money bomb because we have this initial startup cost of getting up to satellite broadcasting, having the expense of being required by the FEC to have closed captioning. That costs forty thousand yeah. dollars a month, Rob. It, it is amazing. a big, big time service, yeah. and that's something they require uh, as a disability thing, which I, you know. Understand, but it is it's cost prohibitive for people yeah, for anybody amazing. wanting to get into this business. I mean, when you look at that, you, you have to say, okay, free speech. We right. want to have free speech. We want to have an open marketplace of ideas. I understand that people who are hearing impaired want to be able to get the programming as well. But what that does effectively is shut down the free speech and the programming for a lot of people mm -hmm. who cannot get to uh, uh, for for outlets who cannot afford to do that kind of closed captioning. And of course, that is a story of why we have regulation in the first place. Exactly. The big guys are asking for this regulation because what that does is that saws off the lower rungs of the ladder for the smaller guys. It makes it ever more difficult for Keeps people to Keeps ideas out them. of the marketplace. Exactly. It, it really closes the playing field just to a few big players. And, and what do we have now? It's just six media companies at yeah. this time? Yeah, that uh, kind of consolidation four, we're seeing everywhere. Four big networks. I mean, there's really a limiting effect of what's going on in the media for ideas, and they get their scripts, and they know if they want the access, they play mm -hmm. ball. Mm -hmm. We don't care about the access. We're gonna even we're gonna go there anyway. We're gonna ask the questions we want to ask. We don't care well, about your access. And that's a good point too, because look at how they're restricting the access on the internet. They're yeah. coming at it multiple ways. We've got the uh, uh, the F, uh, FCC getting involved in it, but then also we have different companies like Apple are now starting to put a news aggregator built into the new operating system for right. the new iPhones, iOS 9. Yeah. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get around Drudge, they're trying to get around Infowars, sure. they're trying to get around the alternative media. They had a monopoly. I grew up when there was a monopoly of three television net networks. There was ABC, CBS, NBC. Many of you remember that. They all covered the same story. All from the same angle. And then so they it just gave depended on which anchor access. you wanted to listen to. Public access, you got a liberal point of view of what was going on, but there was never ever a real conservative libertarian that's right. type channel out there. And that's what we want to become. We want to become that channel 
that people can turn to and get a different perspective. There's a market really for that. Going on. They're, oh, big Fox time. News understands there's a market for they that. Do. They put Judge Napolitano out. They put. They uh, do it about halfway. Stossel out. Yeah. Okay, but then what did they do? They were very popular, but they marginalized them and yep. pushed them off to the side because they were getting so popular. They don't want a libertarian message out there. They want a neocon message out there. Look, I tweeted out earlier today, uh, Rob. 1776 is when we declared our independence from kings. But 9-11 was when our rulers declared their independence from the Constitution. Yeah. And that's essentially what is happening here. We have to push back against this false narrative. The media, this very tightly controlled media, is now trying to consolidate the control of information again, as it pointed out with the FCC, with companies that are trying to hide alternative media or try to supplant it with their own news aggregators built into their operating systems or to change the way the, the algorithms work on Google. They're playing multiple types of games to see what works. They're using Facebook and social media to manipulate the public. This is a real war. This is a real fight for minds, for hearts. And if we don't win this war, we are going to have a real war today. We're seeing the admission of the fact that, yeah, they've been They've been uh, cooking ISIS from the very beginning. They right. were trained back in 2012. This guy's testimony, they yeah, they brought in report. Chechen <laughs> Muslims that were fighting the Russians. They brought them into Syria. And now we have a situation where the, the surrogates for Russia uh, have been duking it out. Now we've got the admission today that we've got American boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. Putin said yesterday he's going to send in Russian troops. So here, here's a situation where- Proxy war. Exactly. Not only a proxy war, but we may have Russians versus Americans in Syria- just as we may have Russians versus Americans in the in Ukraine. The Ukraine yeah. Where did we start? We exactly. started both of these. We yeah. were the aggressor in both of these. We've already got our boots on the ground. Is Putin going to reply with boots on the ground? But of course, what you're going to hear tonight in the debate is how, oh, we've got to be strong on defense. Obama just didn't well, do enough, and he didn't do enough soon enough. And you've got all the makings of a perfect reality show. You've got the big bad guy, Trump, and then you've got all the other guys that are trying to tear him down. I mean, yeah. it really is like a bad episode of The Bachelorette or something. Yeah, or Celebrity <laughs> Big Brother. That's what <laughs> exactly it is. is. Every four years, we get to pick a new big brother, and we've already had the first one leave the house, right. and that was Rick Perry. Yeah, he, he, and there was he, a snoozer debate earlier with yeah. you know Lindsey Graham and Rick Santorum, uh, Bobby Jindal and some other guy. Bobby, Pataki. Kate Pataki, yeah. yeah. They, I didn't even or they, they were arguing about minimum <laughs> wage. Like that was their, when I, I caught a glimpse of it in there and I was grabbing yeah. some tea. Well, and speaking of which, I just want to add this real quick. I was not supposed to be in here at this time on the schedule. I was supposed to come in at, uh, at midnight, but we wanted uh, Leanne McAdoo and Jakari Jackson are going to be on for the next three hours. So they're getting dinner right now. So that's why yeah. I stepped in. Yeah. Just a programming note there for those following along on the schedule. Um, so th they will be in here. Uh, as soon as they get ready, I'm going to pop out. Alex Jones will be back on at 10 p.m. with Larry Nichols, and then we're going to premiere uh, the documentary that Josh Owens and Jakari Jackson went and shot up in Arkansas mm. with Larry. Yeah, that'll be premiering after as soon as that interview's done. And then I'm anxious I'll be to on see that, that because, of course, Larry Nichols is an insider yeah. to the Clinton family. He he Saw knows where the, the bodies are buried. Yeah. Literally, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think mean, pretty much, but uh, it, it, it should be an interesting interview. And it's, it's funny that, you know, we laugh about it, but it's true. I yeah. mean, it, it really is true. Oh, yeah. The, there's a giant body count behind the Clintons, oh, all, yeah. bigger than all the other presidents. Yeah. You know, they, they started in Arkansas, and uh, people started ending up dead there. And now, you know, they ended up dead when they were in D.C. Uh, she was Secretary of State. At least four people have ended up dead under her watch there, so... <laughs> Well, and of course, then, we got Benghazi. You got the whole yeah, Benghazi. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got then the, the, all of Libya, which you know mm -hmm. she was an architect of. What's going on there? Uh, it's really telling. There's a picture of Misrata back in 2008. Looks like a, a thriving city out in the desert. 2011. It's a war zone. Yeah. And that's that's our doing. And that's yeah. why you have all the problems going on in Libya right now yeah. is because of that distress that we've caused. That we've caused. So now you have all these people fleeing this area. There, you know, there's people. I was watching uh, some YouTube videos. This guy was claiming all the people that were leaving were Christians, which I don't, I don't believe, believe that one second. These are just people who don't want to be in a war, and they're trying to get out. And riding into that wave is ISIS and their fighters. Yes. You know, there's yes. been proof of that yes. already that they are our guys. Yeah, our guys that we have trained, that yeah. we have set up, that we have equipped, and to cause to more trouble. And now exactly. they're going to go cause trouble in Europe, to, uh, you know, cause chaos there, and that's part of the plan to then. Bring in more security. That's what the that's yes. what the end game always is. When you security. hear these guys talking about how we need to be safe, how we need to be secure, how nothing should trump national security, understand what just was released today. We've got generals saying we've got boots on the ground. We've got multiple uh, mainstream media reports about how they created and equipped ISIS. Understand these are the guys who started the fire. Yeah. 
They lit the fire. We've got a massive humanitarian crisis. We got Europe being flooded by people who are being driven out of their homes by our foreign policy. I talked earlier about how we were out in the Pacific Northwest for vacation. Some of the areas that we were looking at are now on fire. Mm -hmm. And it's horrific to look at the destruction with that. But understand that the destruction that our foreign policy is causing is far greater than that. And we have politicians who are actually running around lighting the fires everywhere across the John world. John McCain. Exactly. He John McCain. With the terrorists. Lindsey Graham. I yeah. mean, you know, these guys, of course, Lindsey's already done his little spiel. And it was interesting in the post, uh, post game because this is really the sports and weather of politics. Mm -hmm. So we should call it poll a ticks because they always want to make a horse race out of it. But at the end of it, they're trying to see who won and they're talking about it. Well, Michael Reagan, they said, came by and he said, wow, Lindsey Graham was on fire. And I thought, I wish that was literally true. <laughs> if I was there. Um, but you know, that's that's what's happened. I mean, these people are responsible for the death and destruction of millions across this 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 world. I mean, look at what was happening with the calculation with Madeleine Albright. They said, oh, we've had a half a million children uh, killed by your yeah. uh, your blockade, okay, by your sanctions. She didn't deny that. No. She didn't deny it. She said it was worth it. Yep. She totally That's said, it. and she That's was the coldness of it. She was uh, working in on, under uh, under Clinton with Yugoslavia, which was kind of the start of ISIS. That was the breeding ground of ISIS and Al Qaeda. Was in Eastern Europe when they were choosing who they were bombing. Yes, they chose their targets very well. They wanted to get Milosevic out of there because he was a maverick. He was a loner. They didn't like him. So you change know, it's the so government. Complicated. Yeah. The question is, like we were talking to uh, Gerald Salenti about Occupy Peace. Why are we involved in? There's so many right. different aspects of this. So we look at what's going on in Syria. There's also the Kurds. Turkey is involved. They don't want all these people coming into their country. So they're pushing them into Europe. And of course, they're pushing them through many of the Balkan states who have lived with this kind of Balkanization, literally lived with it. That's where the term comes from. Divide and conquer people of different religions, different cultures, different tongues, nations, tribes, you know, fighting amongst each other. The politicians using this to control the people, but they've lived with that. They've lived with austerity. They don't want to see this coming through their country. So those fringe Eastern European countries that are part of the EU are saying no. That's why they're closing their border. And yet, when we hear that they're going to control immigration by by fences, understand these people are going through today. We had situations in Hungary where these people desperate. They're desperate. They're coming through razor the wire. The fences didn't stop them. They're coming through razor wire yeah. while the troops are standing there, spraying them and attacking them. They're going through razor wire. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to a quick break, and we're going to bring in Jakari Jackson and Leanne McAdoo again. That number, if you want to help us with the money bomb, is 888-253-3139. We have a goal of a million dollars to reach 400 million people. I North think what America. they said is Biggs is ready at the Twitter station. Oh, Biggs is I ready. Okay. I don't think you heard that Okay, correctly. I didn't hear that right. Sorry. That's all right. Okay, let's go to- I got mine in my good ear. Good, okay, let's go to Joe Biggs. Jeff. All right, so I'm over here at the Twitter station, guys, and uh, thank you if you're watching for tuning in to the 2015 Money Bomb at InfoWars. Like David just said, this is gonna help us reach a lot more people. Well, I have a few questions for you guys up at the hashtag Money Bomb 2015 on our Twitter. And uh, one of the guys, Will Morgan, tweeted out, uh, Joe Biggs, I'm curious as to David's views on the National Security Act and how to best reign in the police state. Hashtag money, money bomb 2015. How do we rein it in? You know, we have to reestablish the rule of law. We have to stand up and we have to say that we want our government back. We want the rule of law back. We want the Constitution back. I looked today at the websites of several of the major candidates, and they're not even talking about that, Joe. They're talking about fighting ISIS. They're talking about the debt and the deficit. They're, they'll talk about the debt, and then right next to it, they'll have defense, as if the two are totally unrelated to each other. Yeah. They're intricately linked. But they'll talk about education. They'll talk about how we need more of what we've done since 9-11. We need the only candidate that I've seen that even talks about these issues, and that's why even though I disagree with them on some issues, Rand Paul is the only one who is talking about the need to restrain the NSA. He's the only one who's talking about audit the Fed. He's the only one who is talking about reestablishing the Fourth Amendment, which is where the spying is coming from. So we have to look at these. He's also talking about criminal justice reform, civil asset forfeiture. Why isn't that something that Republicans care about? Because, because they have all, all these distractions. Yeah, they can, yeah. They, can, they can create problems out in other parts of the world, and then that's all we talk about. Exactly. Or that's all the mainstream media talks about. Exactly. But we're a group here that'll talk about things like the Fourth Amendment, civil 